Hey YouTube and Spotify, what's going on? This is I Talk Fortnite here, and in today's podcast, we have a brand new podcast. Peace and love, peace and love. It is episode number 49 of the I Talk Fortnite podcast, guys. I hope you guys are having yourselves a wonderful Sunday. It is October 18th, 2020, and uh, it's pretty nice outside. It's not terrible outside. So if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel because I do post content daily. I do commentaries as well as item shop videos every single day. The item shops definitely every single day, but the commentaries are few and far between, but I'm going to try to get uh, consistent with that again. I'll explain uh, later on in the podcast why they haven't been super frequent in this video. If you'd like to use me for support of creator, my code is now ITF. It is no longer I talk Fortnite. We'll talk about that. The code is now ITF, and honestly, I'm super happy they forced me to change the name of the code because ITF is so short and so simple that it's a lot easier for people to put in because, you know, on PC, it's not really much of a difference putting in people's codes, but on co controller and on console, I can imagine like going through all the buttons, all the things every every two weeks, and I'm like, yeah, that's probably annoying for some people. So the code's just ITF, ITF, and that is my New supporter creator code. I'm very, very happy with it. And once again, we'll talk about that as we get on with the podcast. You can follow me on Twitter at ITalkFortnite. You can follow me on Instagram, I can talk Fortnite. No, I do not have a TikTok. And again, um, yeah, that's about it, really. I did the supporter creator thing first. I usually do that last. But that's pretty much it for plugs. So let's just get right into uh, the podcast. So I guess we'll start off with what I've been doing this week. And I'm not going to lie to you, this week was rough. Uh, this was not a super positive week for me. Um, I guess we'll start with like the hardest thing for me that happened this week is that um, I lost my grandfather this this week. And it was, um, I think I woke up, I think it was like Thursday morning. No, I think it was either Thursday or Wednesday morning. I got a text from my dad saying, um, yes, he uh, has passed away. And I did not, I, I tweeted about it on my second Twitter account because I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I didn't want to put it on YouTube. I didn't want to tell people in the community tab because I already told everyone about my uh, dog having three to six months to live. And then this happens and people are probably like, this is just unbelievable, honestly, at this point. So uh, I'm not taking it extremely well. I have been playing games to um help me calm me down a little bit because Fortnite does not do that for me. It frustrates me more than anything at the moment with this season. I'm sorry. That's just how I feel about it. And um, I just been playing things that just soothe me and just try to get through this. Um, the funeral is actually this Wednesday morning. And obviously I will be attending that. I'm really upset about the whole thing. Um, I knew he wasn't doing super well, but I thought he would have had a little bit more time left, but it just was not. It just was not that. Um, I'm going to actually see my parents, my other side of my family today, actually, after I'm done recording the podcast and everything, um, just to talk with them, hang out with them, see how everyone's doing, how the how my sisters are doing and everything, because um, this is a point in my time where I'm like, I need to be with my family. And um, that's partially the reason why there was not many commentaries out this week because I was doing a decent bit. I think I had like two videos out this week, Monday and Tuesday, and then I got the news Wednesday. I even had a thumbnail made for the Wednesday video, and I just got so crushed by everything that I'm just like, you know what? I'm not really feeling it. Just just not, not in the best headspace for it. So I apologize for the content slowing down a little bit, but this is just this is just so much more important to me than that so uh when ghoul trooper came back if you thought my reaction was kind of weird it's actually because of that i was just not in the right headspace um it's just yeah I, this is probably the first time in a long time that i've i've dealt with loss that especially that was close with me with family because like i knew this man for my entire life um he raised me and just taught me everything that I should do and it was all for the better I, I feel like I'm a better human being because of him single-handedly um I just I just love him to death and the thing I, I'm 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 happy that he's no longer in any sort of pain or anything like that's that's good to know but he will always be remembered as just like someone I always looked up to and I just I, I love him to death I love my entire family to death I 
I don't even get to see them a whole lot because I'm so busy with work, but I'm going to make the time to just see them more often because, you know, again, I had no idea that he was going to be gone that soon. And I'm very, I, I'm so annoyed that it just kind of happens like that. So I do want to let people know that, yes, content will probably resume this week. I just need a little bit of break, a little bit of a break uh, because of that. And um, my dog seems to be doing okay. But once again, they did tell me three to six months on her as well. So I'm just, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for just to get hit with it, with, with, with another loss. And I, I, I love my grandfather dearly and I hope he's, he's resting easy now, but um, we'll move on from that. Um, what else have I been doing this week? I actually lost my supporter creator code this week as well. Um, very weird. I got an email at four in the morning saying, Hey, you, your supporter creator code is disabled. And they, let me find the actual email because I, I can't lie to you. The automation of these emails are so atrocious that I feel like they desperately need to change it because if I didn't have the connections that I had, I probably would never have gotten a response back and I probably would have been just screwed, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm being actually serious. Like, I, I am... The, it was just it was horrible honestly it was really not good um but we'll we'll explain it as soon as i um find it really fast uh, i think it was under what was it under like my updates i think <laughs> i'm trying to find it I, I i get way too many emails so let me see if i can just try to find it here um okay here it is I, I believe it says here, um, no, this is just like a response email. I'm trying to find like the original email. Uh, man, how is it this hard to find? Oh, here we go. It says your Epic supporter creator tag has been disabled. It says, hello, Nick, we've been receiving information that your content has violated our code of conduct. Therefore, we had to disable your tag, your Epic tag, while your account is under review. If you feel that this may be an error, please contact us at, and then they give me an email. I tried contacting that email. I got an automated response saying, hey, we're no longer looking at emails for this account right now. I'm like, okay. So then I filed a ticket and they emailed me back and they, and every time I emailed them back and forth, back and forth, they literally said, yeah, it was, the evidence is clear. You're, you're, you're banned from the program. You're disabled from the program. And that wasn't great. And I, I was trying to think, like, why did this happen to me? I thought it was because of the podcast I did with Mustard Plays, which we'll talk about. I cannot thank you guys enough for the support on that video. That was insane. How many creators actually saw that? Like, I think Cypher PK and Nick A30 saw a little bit of it. I'm just like, that's crazy to me. I can't believe that. Uh, very grateful for that. But um, I thought it was because of what we talked about. And I, I didn't think anything that we talked about was that conspicuous to the point where I would have to lose my supporter creator code. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I was just kind of confused. I'm like, okay, what else could it be? So, cause they told me it was my content. They said that we've gotten, we've been receiving information that your content has violated our code of conduct. Huh? I'm so confused by this. I didn't talk about anything like crazy or risque or anything. So I'm just like, what happened? What happened? And I actually got to talk with some Epic devs, which I'm extremely grateful for their help. They got this sorted out in less than a day. And I cannot thank them enough. They they found out the issue. It's because I have Fortnite in the code. And I talked to Hypex and he told me, yeah, they're banning anyone that has Fortnite in their name now from the, from the uh, program. And I even told Epic, I'm like, I'm surprised you guys let me keep this code for two years. <laughs> like for real like October 10th 2018 is when the program started I'm like you let me have this code for two years and now all of a sudden it's an issue I was surprised by that and they said yeah it was weird we don't know how that happened either but they also told me that um that I was not banned from the program it's just that I had to get a new code and I'm like your email, I wish your email would have said something like that, but they did not. Again, their automated emails need work. Um, very grateful that 
they I was able to contact Epic personally, but I know not everyone has that luxury. And I know Epic's a busy busy company, but when you you have an automated email thing, which basically kind of tells people to give up on trying to fix something or try to like fix their code situation, that's not good. Like the fact that it wasn't helping me and I actually had to get like help from an outside source for this was kind of ridiculous. That's just me. I, again, I'm super grateful for the help I got, but it's like not everyone's going to get that. Not everyone's going to get that kind of help. You know what I mean? So they told me you need a new code. And I told them the one code I really wanted was ITF. Now, I tried to change my code to ITF probably half a year ago, maybe a year ago. I, I wanted to change my code to ITF because I talked for and it was way too long and I wanted to change it anyway. And back then they said, oh, you can't change it because someone else is using that. And I told them, I'm pretty sure that person that's using it, no one else is named ITF that I personally know on YouTube or anything like that. So I was saying he's probably using that name to try to um, just trick people into thinking that that's actually my code. Because I've seen, I saw, I remember this one Twitter user, um, no, no offense to him or anything. I'm not even going to mention his name because I don't remember but he said, uh, he said he used my code and he used ITF instead of iTalk Fortnite. And I, I told him, I'm like, that is not my code. My code is iTalk Fortnite, not ITF. And people got like confused with that. Now the code's ITF now for me, which I'm very grateful for. It's super short and super sweet and to the point. But uh, I told them I want ITF. And they said, okay, I'm going to see if I can do it personally or else you might have to submit a ticket. And uh, they got it for me instantly. Now I checked my supported creator website and everything. And it said that ITF was my code now. But I even told him, I'm like, listen, someone I think was impersonating me with that code. Can you double check to make sure that this code is mine? And he told me that the person that originally had that code was no longer in the program. So I'm assuming my report on that got through or something like that, because there's no way there was anyone else named ITF that had that code. I looked because there's someone doing that with Pizzo. If you don't know Pizzo, one of my favorite content creators and personal friend of mine, um, his code is P-I-Z-0. But there's someone out there using code Pizzo with an O. And I can only imagine how much money that kid is making by just t taking that name from him and making money off of that name, which it's there's no one else named Pizzo besides Pizzo. You know what I mean? So it's a little frustrating for um, content creators in general. So hopefully I mean, this happened to Sway. Um, I think someone had the code Sway and he made a ton of money off that code, even though he the the kid that did it makes makes like no content or anything. He just leached off of his name. I'm pretty sure. So pretty scummy, pretty crappy situation for everyone involved with that. So yeah, they said uh, you, you your code is now ITF, and um, here I am with ITF. So once again, if you'd like to support me, the code is ITF, and I made 100% sure that that is actually my code, and it is. So thank you to the Epic team for helping me with that. But once again, if I had to say anything. Please update your emails because if it wasn't for that, I would have, I, I don't know, I wouldn't have given up, but I feel like a majority of people would have given up after email said, yeah, you're banned from the program. Yeah, your code was disabled and we can't do anything about it. You know what I mean? Because like my, like the emails I got back, right? Like I'll, I'll find these as well just to show you how bad these were. Um, I, oh, there's my one saying, oh, at their further review, it's been good standing. But before that, it was like, yeah, you're not. It, it's not. Yeah. Um, sorry to hear about your supporter creator being disabled. We're investigating the issue further and we'll contact you. Great. Great. And then we, it says we've verified that your code was disabled due to a violation of our creator code of conduct, terms of service and or EULA. And then I'm like, OK, can you I didn't break any TOS or anything. And they said we're, we've carefully reviewed this on our system and verified it okay i don't know if that's a bot or not but the fact that they basically told me yeah it's verified you got banned from the program or it's disabled that's crappy like you gotta give us you, you can't do that you, you just can't do that no one's gonna it's not good i know i know you guys are busy but please update your email thing please okay so moving on to that, what I've been doing this week, like I said, it was just mainly those two things. Uh, I played a little bit of the Cold War beta, uh, Call of Duty Cold War, and on PC, it's magnificent. Cold War, Call of Duty Cold War on PC is the way to play the game. It's terrible on console for me. It's really laggy, and on PC on the Blizzard app, it's great. I, I love 
the game, honestly. It, it's pretty fun. They got rid of skill-based matchmaking, I thought. I think they did. Um, it was fun. I had a fun time playing that. And then the other things I've been doing this week was uh, mainly playing RuneScape. This is my safe haven game. It's the game where I feel the most chilled out. And I'm very happy that I have this game to just kind of, you know, zone out and just try to focus on things going on right now. So, and I mean, in fact, I play it when I'm doing the podcast. Like, I'm playing it right now. It's so... It, it doesn't require, like, really many, like, much, many, much uh, attention. So I'm able to just kind of play it in the background and then just still do the podcast. So, yeah. But um, I think that's it for everything that I... Oh, sorry about that. I, I think that's it for everything this week that I've done. And then we'll go over the content. So, like I said, I only put out two videos. I put out the update th coming this week, uh, the Daredevil Cup, and then an update to the Wildcat Bundle. And then we got the leaked skins and bundles coming soon to Fortnite. And that was it. I stopped my content after that. I had two videos in the works. I was going to talk about how I think the Ultimate Reckoning bundle was a bit of a stretch in terms of a bundle. Like, it's cool and everything. But, if like, I'm worried that the Halloween cosmetics this year might not be super duper great. If the best thing they can come up with for a pack is... The Ultimate Reckoning, which is just a gender-bent version of the Final Reckoning. And then the ones, the, the Goth Legends or whatever it's going to be called. I mean, yeah, they're pre-existing skins, but at least they look a lot different. And they're not just gender-bent or anything like that. Like, they actually look like different skins. So I'm happy with that, but I'm just worried. I hope the skins this year are actually really good. But um, I don't know 100% if they're going to be super great or not. And that's what I wanted to talk about this week. And then... um. I forgot what else I wanted to talk about this week because uh, I didn't make the thumbnail for it. I made the thumbnail for the Ultimate Reckoning one, but not the second thing I was going to talk about, so I kind of forgot. But then I want to talk about the podcast that I did with Mustard Plays. Uh, the support on that podcast was really good. I was watching Nick A30 on Twitch. I, I resubbed to him, and he even said, like, hey, uh, you know what? Actually, I think I can actually uh, play the clip for you, which is pretty cool. I feel like I'm like an actual radio host right now. Um because I did download the clip because I I I don't want to use it for like a uh, I don't want to use it for like an intro, but it's like it's cool to like it's cool to see people that you look up to be like, hey, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a good job. So here's uh after I resub to uh, Nick A30 over on Twitch, if the clip will play. Did I talk Fortnite? What's up, my guy? Talk Fortnite. I think you were you have a podcast, right? I was watching it. A clip on Reddit. You were interviewing. Who was it? I don't know. But anyway, point is, keep up the good work. Did yeah. I talk Fortnite? So that, that, that was basically, it's like, keep up the good work. So thank you, Nick A30, for that. That actually meant a lot. Uh, people told me that the clip was used in Cypher PK's video. I did not watch that video. But again, I'm so surprised that that did so well. I guess it's because we did talk about things that not everyone's really talking about. How creative is probably going to be the future for Fortnite. And... It's not a, It's not really necessarily a bad thing. I think it's kind of a good thing that more creative minds will possibly take over the game because, I mean, seriously, how long do people think Battle Royale is going to last? Three years? It's already been three years and people are burning out. So I think creative is the future of Fortnite, and I think that's honestly a good thing. In my personal opinion, I think it's a good thing. But if you want to check out that podcast, I'll leave a, uh, I'll try to leave an iCard somewhere on the video I uh, would recommend you listen to it. It's on Spotify as well. It's a great podcast. I, I loved my time talking to Mustard Plays. It was a really good time. I think he even made like a condensed version of it on his channel, Mustard Plays. So definitely check it out if you would like to. And that's basically it. Everything that I've done this week. So now I guess we can just um, move on to the topics. So I went on Twitter and I said, good morning, everyone. It's Sunday today. Anything in particular I should talk about on the podcast today? Uh, let's see. So someone said, I know this isn't a topic, but I just wanted to know how much, how, how much is the goth bundle going to cost? I think it's going to be 12, 2000, maybe, maybe 2000. I'm guessing 2000. That, that is my guess on that. I should say the ultimate reckoning bundle being 2000 V bucks is a steal. Like that, that, that is legitimately a steal. That's a really good deal. Um, I guess because of the 20% thing, I guess they're just like, 
nerfing that down too with like packs makes sense. I th yeah, they've been doing that. That makes total sense. Um, just like to know what your expectations for Fort Nightmares are this season. Have a great Sunday. Thank you, Wordo. I appreciate that. Um, what are my expectations? I, I don't have much. I'm, I mean, are we supposed to get an update this week for Fort Nightmares? I'm not entirely sure. I, I, don't, I don't know. I would like a Storm King thing with Galactus. That would be sick. And I just hope the skins are really good. Like the, the Grimore skin, which I'm assuming is supposed to be coming out tonight. Because they accidentally pushed uh, the picture that they use for Twitter and all their sites and everything. They pushed that out too early. And they only do that the night of when the skin's going to drop. So I'm assuming they're going to drop the Grimori skin tonight. Which is my personal favorite skin this season. It's Grimori is amazing. I like anything that's like goth related. And the fact she has a gas mask on her side hip is just so cool. It, it looks like that skin was almost made for me. I love the Goth Legends bundle. Don't get me wrong. That one's great, too. Uh, the Dusk with the Beanie is probably the best one out of all that. But I'm just saying, um, more pale goth chicks in Fortnite, please. I would love that. That's what I would like to say about that. Talk about Fortnite finally coming out of its shell and listening to the community. I believe it wasn't too long ago that their Twitter was put under new management. And ever since then, they've actually been responding to people. It just doesn't feel... It doesn't feel like... They're just a group of uh, emotionless, mindless robots who only ever promote an item shop reset. It feels like we're looking at actual people now. And not only that, we're watching, um, but we're watching item shops get better too. Not just in terms of variety, but also its layout. They stopped separating birdie and driver and finally put them in, in a singular, sl singular slot together. Exactly. I really do hope they can keep this up. I'm, it's really starting to feel like old Fortnite again. If that makes sense, it, I, I, I agree with that, honestly. Uh, the only thing we need now are patch notes, and we'll probably be satisfied. Sorry for the long-winded thread. Twitter is a uh, B when you got a lot to say. No, I think I, I like the thread a lot. Um, yeah, Fortnite has been responding to a lot of tweets as of late. Like even Erdo, who he is an extremely creative person when it comes to like Fortnite combos. He's one of the best combo makers ever. I think I didn't they win? Didn't. Yeah, let me look at this. Didn't, yeah, Erdo won Lackland's Trio Fashion Show. Like, big deal. Big deal, this dude. So I'm really ha proud and happy of for him to actually win that. I still remember that. That was crazy. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're actually... Like, they even said, hey, show us your spookiest combos. And Erdo showed off three of them. And then they're like, ooh, we like them. And I'm like, this is, this is cool. I don't know who's behind Fortnite's Twitter, but you're doing a fantastic job. And you know what? You didn't even mention this in your tweet, but I'm going to mention it here. The Fortnite competitive Twitter is out of control. Okay. Like this, this is, hold on. I, I, I got to find this. Like it is actually, uh, so ridiculous how funny this is. Um, where is the search bar? Okay. So Fortnite competitive here we go. They're tweeting out like SpongeBob memes, like Z Zate is washed, which I don't know who that is. Like, I don't really follow competitive, but the fact that like they're tweeting like the <laughs> like they're tweeting like these Drake memes, like whoever is in charge of the new of Fortnite competitive. Oh, my gosh. Like they're doing a good a good job, too. Like. Man, I think they hired someone from the competitive community because only the competitive community knows the competitive community. Okay, so that's um, that is really cool, and I'm I'm very happy for <laughs> that. Their their community manager is looking pretty good now too. So just great stuff, great stuff. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I do I do like how they're actually talking with us now, though. I can understand not wanting to because dead game comments and stuff like that but i'm glad they're they're still trucking through it because it makes a world of a difference when they host polls and actually interact with the community i will definitely say that talk about future halloween skins you'll like to see for fortnite mares i actually have no idea I, I i'm uncreative i don't know what else they could do a mummy skin would be cool maybe i don't know uh there's a lot that they could do and um just more goth girls that's really all i want please um, one of my top main skins I use a lot. Ah, I don't know. There's so many skins in the game, and the fact that I only have ten preset slots. I'm sorry, I'm still being annoying with that, but it, it's true. 
I don't know. I just kind of run whatever. They they kind of I feel like they kind of restrict me from being able to make as many combos as I want with as many skins as I want. And it's like, well, all right, I guess I'll just use the same 10 skins since I can't be asked to save mo like more than like just to save them and move them around and stuff. I honestly couldn't even tell you, honestly. Instead of having Marvel and DC collabs every every time we need new things, like Overwatch would be amazing. Um, see, the reason why they did the Marvel collab and maybe possibly a DC collab season, not saying it's going to be a season, but the reason why they're doing that is because they're friends with Mar Warner Brothers. I mean, they're friends with the Russo Brothers. Obviously, they're going to um, have connections to talk with people and to actually just be able to do these collabs like super easy and probably for the cheaper end too they probably don't have to pay as much money because they're friendly with like people in the comic book industry so i understand why they collab them a lot i would like to see different ones though yeah overwatch would be sick nhl please wwe would even be pretty cool would love that honestly what happened to the, with the gruff g skin i have zero idea I, I i have no idea i think he's like a spanish youtuber that's getting like like a fortnite skin I, I don't know. Zero idea about that, honestly. Thoughts on the Daredevil tournament, its scoring system, and what other skins would, uh, would you think will be in the... All right, so I did talk about what other skins I think would be in the other Marvel knockout tournaments, and one of the skins I said was Superman. I'm not the brightest person when it comes to superheroes, so I apologize for that. It's probably going to be Black Panther, right? It's probably going to be... Uh, well, we already have the Daredevil one. It'll probably be... Uh, Hellraiser or Hellrider, whatever his name is, the guy with like the flaming skull, that would be sick. And then um Venom, possibly. That that's the three I'm predicting right there. And thoughts on the Daredevil tournament. It was super sweaty, especially even though it was just like with superpowers. Uh we had to do like all the yelling call outs and everything, but we ended up winning. We got four hundred and forty fifth place or something like that. So that's pretty cool. We got the skin early. And um we should talk about that though. Uh, EU did not get the skin yet. The skin dropped already. They have yet to get the Daredevil skin. That's unacceptable. Without a doubt. In your in their news post, it even said you can flex that you got the skin early because everyone got the skin except EU. That's terrible. That's terrible. I think I think Merle won it or something like that. And they, he just never got it. That, that's that's terrible. I mean, I, I don't know if that's like I would consider that like false advertising or not. But the fact that they even said like you can flex this to people because you got it early, but you just didn't give it to the EU people. I'm not entirely sure why um, they didn't do that. I'm assuming they're trying to do that, but it just doesn't really. I don't know. Like they didn't do it. I think that's extremely unfair. And um I thought the scoring system was fun, and I thought the tournament itself was fun, just really tough. Uh, event predictions, I have zero. Galactus is... I'm assuming it's going to be like a big fight with Galactus. And then maybe maybe Galactus is too strong, so then we, we go out in like Iron Man's bus, and then we travel back to season uh, chapter one. Who knows? Imagine if that actually happened, though. Um... Whatever happened to the Baranga Boogie emote? Do you still have hope it will come to the shop or will it stay exclusive? Um, yeah, you know, I was just thinking about that last week because I still see like people giving away Baranga Boogie on Twitter, which I'm, I just, I don't, listen, I do not see the appeal in that emote. It, the beat is okay, but like, I do not see the appeal. That em I thought the It's Complicated emote was going to be the exclusive emote. I mean, it technically is with like PlayStation Plus, but Oh, man, like, I don't know. I don't know. I just, it's not, it's not an emote that I think is, like, super great. And just because you put exclusive over it, that makes it, you know, better, I guess. I, I don't know. But do I think it's, it, it's going to, they said it was going to come into the shop. Well, okay, that's a lie. They did not say that. What they said, uh, let me see. Let me see. Um says here on this website well okay it, it, it's giving me too many Q&A's I don't, I don't really want this I just they basically said it's first on OnePlus phones first 
So what second? Item shop. It has to be. It has to be item shop. So I'm hoping it will be coming out into the item shop. I would assume that it is going to. That's just my opinion on it. Talk about Fortnite cinematics and the hints that they've sometimes given. Um, The only one I can really think of in terms of hints is really the one with... Uh, oh, what was it? I, I just had it in the top of my head and then I completely forgot. What was it? There, there was one... Oh, oh, the uh, Captain America one. The Captain America cinematic kind of gave the illusion that Thor was going to be coming out soon and then we got the Marvel season. Besides that, I don't really see too many hints. The one hint that I I wanted to point out because I thought it, it would be pertaining to something, but it most of the time it did not. The only time that this particular time it's ever worked is the Chapter 2 Season 3 trailer. We saw the uh, Molten Renegade Raider skin in the helicopter, right? And then that skin came out. I think any other time they show... Well, okay, Skull Trooper in Season 6 as well. But mostly any other time they show off a skin in a trailer, that doesn't confirm it's coming out. Chapter 2, Season 3, it showed off the Wake Rider skin. Never came out. Sludge was in the uh, two trailers, actually. He was in the trailer for uh, Chapter 2, Season 3, I believe. Or was it Chapter 2, Season 4? Or was it Chapter 2, Season 2? I remember he was in one of those trailers, and then he was also in the uh, hashtag free Fortnite trailer. He never came out. Animations, most of the time, don't mean anything. That doesn't mean that skins are going to come out or not. They just don't. I thought it would, but it's like, nah, really. Honestly. Um, I think you talk about the skins. Do you think we'll get Black Panther or Spider-Man? Black Panther, absolutely, we are 100% probably getting that just because of the... The monument, the Black Panther monument, as well as like the superpower for Spider-Man. Ah, Spider-Man is a tricky concept because uh, PlayStation and Sony just has a huge hand in in sp the Spider-Man franchise. So I don't know about Spider-Man. I would like to see Spider-Man in the game. That'd be great. I hope if they do bring out Spider-Man, it's not like for a uh, I hope it's not for a um, whatchamacallit. PlayStation Plus pack. That would be so scummy. That would be so that would be so crappy if they did that. <laughs> Honestly, that would be so crappy if they did that. I could see him doing it possibly because again, they have a huge hand in Sony's pie, but besides that, I don't know. Um, how the Stranger Things collabs was one of the best implemented collabs due to its simplicity. I agree. I didn't know anything about Stranger Things, and I thought it was pretty cool back in season nine. Like it had the um, the gateway that was in Mega Mall. I thought that was pretty cool. And then the skins themselves, Chief Hopper. I mean, again, I didn't know about Stranger Things until like a month or two ago. We I watched it, and the first I only saw the first season still, but it was so good. That season was so good. I'm like, wow, this is like I want to I I wanted to keep watching it, but then I just haven't gotten around to it. Season one of Stranger Things is so good. So Chief Hopper and uh, a Demogorgon being a skin in the game is cool, man. It, it was really, really cool. I, I can't lie. That That is really cool. Um, I don't like collabs that much, but I would like a Mandalorian one since season two is coming out in a couple weeks. Mandalorian could be an I Am Shop skin or Baby Yoda from Challenges. We saw a bunch of concepts of like a Baby Yoda pet back bling, which would be kind of cool. I would like that personally. Um, and a Mandalorian skin would be super cool. I'd like that. I mean, they have a huge hand in Star Wars right now, too. I mean, to be honest, they sell more Star Wars gliders than necessary. How many people bought? I want to know. How many people bought one of those gliders? Not the one you got for free. I'm talking about how many people bought a Star Wars glider. And if you did, do you even use it? Because... They're cool. The animations are amazing. But I feel like everyone just uses umbrellas. You know what I mean? Like It's like, uh, I don't know. I mean, I have them on. I, I mo The problem with them for me is that they're too bulky and they're way too loud. And I don't like that. <laughs> that is not something I want to listen to when I'm jumping now from the bus. You know what I mean? Am I ever going to open up more Fortnite trading cards? I'm pretty sure a new series came out a few months ago. The new series of cards, uh, those are only in the EU at the moment, so I cannot actually get them. 
If they do come out in the U.S., I will absolutely do that, though. I would like to do that. Uh, talk about how so many Battle Pass emotes are never used out of its own season, other than the slight chance it's a memorable, like, springy or planetary vibe. I mean, I use Running Man still. That's on my wheel. Running Man is one of my personal favorite emotes. The beat of that never gets old. And that was like an emote from season five, I think. I love that emote. That's a great emote. But yeah, I mean, I agree. I feel like we kind of move on from emotes a lot after the season. But this season in particular, I feel like everyone goes back to the old emotes because if you didn't know, all the emotes in the battle pass are all built in, which is super unfortunate. That is just something I do not like with this season at all. I mean, I understand they can't have those emotes be used for everyone, but the fact that we got no dances or anything for all of our skins, it's, oh, that hurt. That hurt. A lot. It really did. Uh, leakers have been adding images of cosmetics that are being added to the new item shop UI. Things like Bob and Dreamflower and Throttle Pickaxe were added this time around. What are your thoughts on seeing the full spread of possible item shop cosmetics? You know, I did hear about that. But I did not see it. And considering that Dreamflower came back, that makes a lot of sense. I think I know who tweeted that. I'm, ass I'm assuming Hypex possibly tweeted that. If I can find it, that would be really neat. No, he did not. I think someone else may have done that. Let me... We can actually go over that. That would actually be pretty interesting. Um, Let's see. Um, man, where is it? Oh, come on. I It has to be somewhere, right? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. All right. So a bunch of images got leaked out that all basically signify that they're going to be like they they're they're inclined with the new item shop UI because they have a different colored background now. So all these skins got these like cool backgrounds and that pretty much like that tells you hey that means they're coming back into the item shop sometime soon because now they have the new ui and i honestly i kind of agree with that so i'm kind of skimming through all this um so i see i think this this page right here is just the skins i'm seeing like the stormtrooper uh marshmallow getting his own thing that would be cool to see him come back um let's see what else we got here the battle pass ones that's obvious um a lot of the default ones uh wukong don't see the glider though that's a shame maybe it's in one of the other pages uh, burnout raven dark vanguard leviathan tomato head tomato head hasn't been back in a little bit so that'd be cool to see him come back um rapscallion uh even though that one always comes out even the 4th of July skins, Magnus, Grill Sergeant, Maverick. For whatever reason, Eon is here. And I definitely don't think that Eon is going to come into the item shop. That would be kind of ludicrous if they put exclusive skins in this shop. I don't. I think that is just a placeholder. I really doubt that's what they're um, doing there with that. I mean, if it comes out to the shop, am I going to be upset? I mean, not really. But... It would be kind of unfortunate to have people own like an exclusive skin for so long and then it become not exclusive. That's just kind of lame. Uh, Ludwig and Heidi are there. Uh, Dante, Rosa, Paradox, Lace. Um, oh, there's the uh, there's a uh, Galaxy Scal. OK, Kit Bash. Kit Bash has not been out in well over a year. Riot hasn't been out in over a year, I think. Um, yeah, there's a lot of skins here. Really is. Uh, there was, wait. And then, uh, yeah, that's basically it there. And then there's like even more, which I don't know if these are. Oh yeah, these are skins as well. Oh man. Oh. It's funny because all these pictures also have the edit styles for, uh, the skins as well. So if there's any skins, like they're, they just had to update so many. It's kind of weird that they have to update them all, but like, it makes sense for them to do that. But I don't really see anything too crazy on this one, honestly. And then I want to see the ones that like have like the gliders because I, I and they well, it does show off the emotes, but none of the emotes have like the blue background on them. Oh, here's some gliders and pickaxes here. Um, Yeah, some of these are just placeholders because I see like there's a um, 
There's a season two glider in here. There's no way that's coming out. Um, kind of the same old gliders I see all the time are just kind of right here. Nothing out of the ordinary. Voyager glider, I guess, is kind of unique. But besides that, there really isn't too many else. Too many other things. Yeah. Yeah, they're all kind of boring. And I can't tell about the emotes either. And then the final page here. Let's see what we got. Here. Oh, look at all these pickaxes. My God, that's a lot. Um, yeah, someone, so the, the comment I read is someone said that they saw throttle. Throttle is something I don't have. Oh, I also see pile driver. I also see pile driver. Do you think we'll actually get pile driver back? The rarest pickaxe in the item shop. That would be cool. I kind of want that. I mean, it's, I need it for the collection, but also because it sounds pretty good as well. So that'd be cool. Um, yeah, because they updated all these backgrounds, it basically tells you, yeah, they're coming back. And yeah, I think they're going to come back. That This might have to be a video in of itself, but maybe not because there really isn't too much else to discuss with that. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, Grimora was accidentally shown in the news tab, so she may come out tonight. I hope, I hope, I hope she does. Uh, do you ever think you will do other content on ITF like Minecraft COD or Among Us? I'd like to see some stuff like that, and I'm sure you uh, others will too. I do have a second channel called ITF that you you can check out. I have done stuff like Minecraft before, but I haven't done much on that channel for a while, and I would like to do uh, more stuff on that. I think that'd be cool. Uh, loving the podcast would like to see more vlogs. Yeah. If only I did stuff, I don't, I found my GoPro. I got to really like hook it up and actually figure out how to like use it again. Cause I completely forgot. I had like charge it up and everything. So I will try to get that variety in the item shop and your thoughts on it. They're doing a better job. I'm not noticing half the emotes are coming back, but I like, cause two rare emotes came out yesterday or no. Yeah. 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 Yesterday we had, um, headbanger. We also had Bob in return. And then we also had, um, work it out. I didn't know work it out was rare. I had no idea. I, I genuinely didn't know that. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I'm happy for the variety. I really am. We'll see the return. Will we see the return of star Wars? And should we still anticipate the return of OG edit styles? If this Fortnite Warriors update does not give us the OG edit styles, I'm, it's not happening. And I'll say this again. I personally do not care anymore. Um, real life and like my family matters more to me than just some different colored OG edit styles. I feel like we all take it way too seriously. And um, like I said, it was just a rumor. I wasn't, I didn't make up the rumor to be like, oh, I hope they do it or not. Like, no, it was like a legitimate rumor and... If it doesn't happen, I personally could not care less. If anything, I think it's a good thing to kind of have some history and have some people like show that they've been playing the game for a while because there's games like Rogue Company that like that are giving rewards to people that were playing in the beta for that game before it even went free to play. And it's like it's kind of a nice little thing to be like, hey, thank you for supporting the game early. Now, granted, the Renegade skin didn't get an edit style, the all the season one stuff never got edit styles. I understand that, but it's like, I just can't care. I, I just don't, it would be cool to have, but like after they come, if they come back, right, what are they? Just normal edit styles. They're not even unique anymore. So that's my opinion on that. If, it, if they come back, they come back. If not, I don't care. And then Star Wars. Yeah, we'll probably see some Star Wars stuff come back as well. Do players get both backlinks for FNCS, the blue and the pink one? Uh, yes, I, it's an edit style. The pink one's an edit style for the blue one. So everyone should have that by now, I believe. If, if you watched um anything from the FNCS for like 30 minutes, I believe you got the number one backlink a while ago, but it, um, you should have gotten the pink edit style from this recent update. I will say, uh, I hope the goth legends pack comes out next week. It probably will. Do you think we'll get an outfit for a Mandalorian? Oh, wow. Someone legit said the same thing. Yeah, I, I, a Mandalorian skin with a Baby Yoda pet back bling would be sick. That'd be great. Because season two is coming out. That makes so much sense. That'd be cool. I would I would be I would be on board. 
What kind of cosmetics do you want to see returned in the shop? Anything I don't have. Anything I do not have. <laughs> That's just me. Talk about how X season X was extremely underrated. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. We're going to talk about that. I saw someone tweet this out and I wanted to say something about it, but I'm not going to. Um, um let me see here. Who was it? I remember this tweet and it, it didn't annoy me, but it, it's definitely one of those things where it's like, I, I understand. Okay. So there's this picture. It, the It's, it's basically a meme of like the old halo games right so it says here it says season nine season x chapter one chapter two season one and chapter two season two and it says here right that okay so we'll start from the season nine one it it, it works as, as as what you think two seasons ago season nine had chapter seven or season chapter seven season seven and they said season set like if you were playing in season nine, you said that season seven was simply fantastic pinnacle of the game. It has been downhill since. And then season eight was in retrospect. It wasn't as bad as originally thought. It had some great ideas and executed them well. And then season nine, screw this game. The new items are broken and the new POIs are crap rip Fortnite. And then he conti it, it continues on to say like during season X that, um, season eight w or yeah season eight was simply fantastic and then season nine was actually not as bad no i agree i think season x is still like my least favorite season of all time so back in chapter two season two i wasn't thinking that season x was simply fantastic or a pinnacle of the game no i'm not going to change my mind on it for nostalgia's sake even though i will say like older call of duty games i miss them so much like cod 4 and world at war are like my personal favorite call of duty games and those are from back in 2008 and 2000 seven there's definitely some call of duties above that that have done better than those games but i still like them the most and i my mind never really changed on it i never like hated on seasons previous and then the longer a season goes off the more i'm like you know what that season was actually really good no i will never say that about um chapter x or season x i will never i will never say that I'm just saying, I will never say that. If you think nostalgia is going to get to me and be like, oh, you know what? Season X was actually the, the pinnacle of four. No, no, I will. I refuse. I refuse. Let me read the tweet though. So I can, uh, talk about how season X was extremely underrated. It's because in season X, there was the most craziest things. And in chapter one, se season one, chapter two was so boring. And then the seasons after. So everyone can have their own opinion on what they think their favorite season or the most underrated season is. I refuse to go back and be like, you know what? I miss that. I don't miss season X whatsoever. I do not. I do not. Um, Halloween event. I have no idea what we're even going to get. I, I listen, if it's the storm King again, but reskin to be Galactus, I wouldn't even be mad about it. The storm King event was so good last year. Um, I would, uh, like that a lot, honestly. Favorite Halloween cosmetics. It used to be Skull Trooper before the blue eye glow thing, which I really don't like the blue eyes. Um, Ghoul Trooper is also really good. I like that one. Grimore is probably going to be my new favorite one. And I think that's about it, really. There isn't too many other ones that are just like... I, Willow's good, too. I like Willow a lot. There's so many of them, honestly. Oh, and Jawbreaker. Yeah, can't forget Jawbreaker. And the Goth Legends as well. Yeah, yeah. Talk about what your perfect season five would be. That would have to be a video. I don't know. I don't know. I want, listen, I always said that season three was my personal favorite season and it still pretty much is. If the game could kind of go back to like how it was in season three, where everything looked cartoony, the gun balance was somewhat decent besides double pump, but people liked double pump. So I don't think it was like the worst thing ever. I don't know. I I would, I would like that more if we kind of went back to that that would just be me um uh thank you for making item shop videos because the item shop resets at 5 a.m for me and i'll get and i don't get on fortnite till 2 p.m and also i wanted to say that's crazy how big fortnite got worldwide but failed to grow in india that's such a shame but yeah I, I said that before is like um a lot of people in the eu their shop resets at like midnight and I'm like, I would feel bad for everyone that has to like stay up till midnight to see what the what's in the item shop when you could just wake up in the morning and just 
see my video really fast without having to turn on anything. You don't have to turn on your console to boot up the game for five minutes. Just saying. Um, I think if you own Save the World, your game actually takes longer to load, which is kind of dumb. I, I mean, it's more space being utilized, so I kind of understand that. Um, let's see here. Rank favorite, less favorite to favorite Halloween skins. Yeah, I can't. I'd have to make a video on that. There's no way I can do that at the top of my head, but I will. You know what? Here, I'm gonna bust out my handy dandy notepad. Ranking Halloween skins worst to best, and I'll wait until we get all of our Halloween skins this this Halloween, and then I will make that video. Okay, I I I'm, I I want to say I promise, but talk about and then your perfect Fortnite season all right i have those two written down i will try to make those into commentaries in the near future um it seems like this season could extend into two but now it, it seems unlikely but dc for sure um this is kind of tough for me to read i'm not gonna lie but basically they're saying um there's collabs after collabs after collabs yeah, I mean, Party Royale's collabs are they're cool because they don't really interfere with the main game. Um, but yeah, there is a lot of collabs. Hopefully, we don't get a DC season next season, but I'm kind of fearing that we might. Even though I think a DC season would be cooler than a Marvel one, I still don't want it. It's still oversaturation at that point, in my personal opinion. Um, Let's see. How the timing of the Daredevil Cup was terrible? I didn't think it was that bad. I, I didn't think it was that bad. What was it like? What? Sorry about my microphone. What was it like 5 p.m. to 8 p.m.? It wasn't terrible. Jack Gordon style or back bling? You know he's getting a style or and or back bling. I, I would assume he's getting a back bling over anything else. Um, if he hasn't come out yet, they they have to be giving him something for the next update. Um, Let's see. a lot of the same things it's okay thoughts on on so many packs leaked at the same time and then sudden variations in the shop yeah we got a lot of packs this uh update we got two but it's like packs used to be really few and far in between now it's pretty consistent no lie it really is um let's see if there's anything else here oh i did want to mention that um a friend of mine, Angel Freevas, who you may know as Crystal in Pizzo's Before You Buy videos where he gets hit with the pickaxe. Um, he actually got a featured matchmaking map called Pickaxe Fights. And I think it goes away uh, tomorrow. No, I think it... No, wait. No, wait. Maybe it goes away on Tuesday. I'm not entirely sure, but he got a, he got a feature. He got a feature before me, which I'm not jealous of it whatsoever. I'm proud of them and uh hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you played it uh pickaxe fights are amazing i might legit do a series on the channel where i go over all the matchmaking maps um and just kind of show off what they are for the week maybe i don't know i don't know i'll think i'll think about that i'm telling you the matchmaking maps make fortnite fun without a doubt and his pickaxe fights map was actually pretty fun i won my first attempt so uh good fight to that Talk about if Fortnite Mares may or may not be Marvel themed. I hope they're not. I hope it's not. Venom. Make Venom the only Halloween related. I mean, he's not even Halloween related. He's just creepy looking. So make him a Halloween skin. Fine. That's it. The Sludge Outfit not coming out three months after getting an edit style. He hasn't, up he hasn't updated for the new shop yet. So he's not coming out anytime soon. Yeah, I think they forgot about him. How many people like like legit want Sludge? I don't. I don't think many people want him though. The new manager for the Fortnite comp Twitter. Yeah, I was talking about that. I, I, I don't know. that That's amazing to me. Like how zany it is. Now it's great. <laughs> it's actually like really funny. I'm happy that they're um they're becoming more human, I guess. Uh, do you think Kipash will get an edit all and be released soon s since of the Blue Henchman at Caddy Corner? Uh, uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Not entirely sure, though. 
Epic should add a mode that takes you to creative maps that play out like Call of Duty you have modes such as Search and Destroy, TDM, Free For All, Gun Game. Well, they do have the matchmaking portals, and I do believe one of them is a gun game. Um, there's many maps that they feature for those um, matchmaking portals that you can jump into a game. They they do have that. They do absolutely have that. You just got to kind of search for it a little bit. Um, Let's see here. What do you want from Fortnite in the future? More creative assets, more love to creative. Um, also, do you think that the Fortnite, that Fortnite saw Fall Guys as community manager and decided to change? And if Fall Guys community manager wasn't talking with the community, do you think Fortnite would have changed? Um, I don't know. I do think that the Fall Guys Twitter may have inspired them a little bit to just kind of be a little bit more talkative with us but i'm not entirely sure i'm not i'm not going to say yes or no to that honestly uh let's see what else we got here the state of the switch i have zero idea what's going on with the with fortnite on the switch at all i just know about the wildcat bundle which there is no new updates about it it's being released in japan but we have no news about it uh dropping in the u.s just yet which still makes me really sad because i really don't want to buy a european switch for this thing i'd rather buy just a u.s one and also, I don't know if it's 100% going to work with my account or not. I will just, um, I somewhat, you know what? Let me, let me find that. Someone actually told me this on Twitter and I saved the picture on my, uh, on my phone because I'm like, I'm going to need this because I, I know I'm going to forget about what he suggested to me. I hope I can find it. I thought I... I genuinely thought I took it on my phone. Maybe I did not. Did I not take it on my phone? No, I don't think I did. Hmm. Someone suggested to me what I should do for the skin, uh, for the skin, and I, I can't seem to find it, unfortunately. But um, I can look back because I, I did reply to him on Twitter, so I will definitely check it out. So maybe I can get it on my account, but we'll have to uh, wait and see on that. And I think it is now time for the Weekly Item Shop Recap. Brought to you by Spotify when I'm not actually sponsored by Spotify. Go figure with that. Alrighty, so we're going to look at the shops from the past week. Which I know is everyone's favorite time of the year. Let's talk about the 12th. The 12th of October, we had Dante and Rosa return for only a day. Kind of a shame, not going to lie. John Wick coming back. So random. Don't know why. Musha also comes back with Mecha Team Leader, the zombie soccer skins, which um, people seem to like them, right? People seem to like the zombie soccer skins. Makes total sense. You know, they'll bring out these, but they won't bring back the original soccer skins. I really don't understand that logic. Axel and Brian also make a return, which is pretty cool. Well-rounded emo, patch patroller, plasma bubble, dynamic shuffle, and crazy boy. Once again, where are these emotes coming from? But... I would like to see more of it. 13th of October, we saw the uh, clown skins return, which I still remember that one comment. Someone said, I wish they made those clown skins have the black and white and red edit styles for their masked versions as well. And I agree. If we could get that, that would be, um, that'd be nice. Um, also, the shark skins returned as well, which is nice. And funny enough, Cozy Chomps, when you go in game with Cozy Chomps, you are a default. I don't know why. It does the same thing with Ravage as well. Zero idea. Zero idea why. It's a weird glitch. 14th wild card. Also, we got Pit Stop and Storm Racer. I love these skins. They're super cool. High, Oct High Octane. Harvesting Tool. Blooming Doom. Blooming Bones. Ruby coming back. Make It Rain. Never Gonna Mystify. Bryce 3000. Uh, Pirouette. Icicle. Cool stuff, the Reaper Pickaxe. The Reaper Pickaxe has been in the shop for like a week now. Almost a week. It, it feels like a week. <laughs> oh, man. 15th, we had Ghoul Troopa. Ghoul Troopa return. And then we also had Kurahura Mora, the Battle Breaker stuff, come back as well. Bonehead Bobbin coming back. Rare emote. Rare emote. Um, Rage Quit Monks. OG Future Remix. Who's? I, I still don't see the appeal in Bonehead. I'm sorry. Bonehead is just not... That good of a skin, in my opinion. If you could put the hood down, maybe it would be a little bit better. But the fact that you can't even see the coolest part of him, which is like his face or the back of his head, is like, eh, I don't know. 16th of October, we had 
the Ultimate Reckoning Bundle, which it's really cool. Like I like it. Is it like unique? Not even close, but it's still really cool. I like it a lot. Malice returns with Dominion. Hemlock returns. Ghoul Trooper still there. Kyra returns. Kyra is such a good skin in my personal opinion. I love Kyra. It's very good. Uh, Lil Whip Dream Flower coming back. Which Way Emote. Love the Which Way Emote. So good. Ribbon Dancer and Capkick Dynamic Fire and all that jazz. And then, oh yeah, and we also got the uh, the Amber Wrap, which looks so nasty. It looks like um, it. I can't think of what it. I mean, it looks like legitimate amber. That's what it is. But I cannot put at the top of my finger. I cannot. I don't remember like what it actually is, but it is nasty. Like it has bugs in it and everything. I think it's cool and creative, but it's like ugh. that came out on the 15th, actually. And then today's item shop, we had Oblivion return with Criterion. You know, if you're going to give a weird edit style to Oblivion, you might as well just give it to Criterion as well. Honestly. Then we had Daredevil come out finally, which you got to flex with him for three days, unless you're EU, if you got the skin early. Uh, Terminus Collider with Criterion on Oblivion. Ghoul Trooper still there. Mesmer, which way is still there? Thank goodness. Sunbird. Uh, Brainiac still there. Hime is now in the daily. Bash skin. Work it out. Rare emote. Headbanger. Rare emote. Frosty Glow was just in the shop like three weeks ago. And then the Taxi emote. And Reaper is still there. That is it for the weekly item shop recap. And I'm actually going to just prematurely end the podcast here. I'm not going to read any comments on the previous episode because I did not do a Q&A at the end of the last podcast. If you guys did not know, I did an interview with Mustard Plays. So I didn't really get to any of those comments and I didn't get to the comments comments of the last one. So I will try to get to the comments of this podcast next week. So that'll be it for me. I'm going to go visit my family now because I really want to see them right now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the podcast. Let me know the like if you liked it. You can comment down below any questions or any feedback you'd like to give me for the podcast. If you'd like to use me for a supported creator, my code is ITF. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter at ITalkFortnite. You can follow me on Instagram, I can talk Fortnite. And yeah, we're available on Spotify. So thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you guys have yourselves a wonderful Sunday today. And just have a good one. See ya.